Okay, folks, so I have done a video similar to this with the Tim Hortons packs, and now I'm going to be trying it with the upper deck here, the 2020-21 packs. So this is going to be the Series 1. It does come with an oversized, so let's try that. I have another light here that I'm kind of trying out, which sort of gets rid of the shadow that looks like a hockey puck here a little bit. <laughs> if I do that, you know, you can kind of see a little better if I get rid of it. Not so much, but uh, not a hockey puck. The... Um, the air hockey piece, that's what it was. All right, so I guess screw that camera right now. You can see the edge of my mouse pad, the start of my monitor and my desk, but the oversized card we're gonna get is Thomas Harley. I have honestly never heard of this guy. Okay, played for the Mississauga Steelheads in the OHL. Six foot four, guy's a unit, that's for sure. So he was drafted 18th overall in the 2019 NHL entry draft. And he almost put up a point a game for the Mississauga Steelheads last season. All right, well, that's kind of cool. So there we go, Thomas Harley. So this box does come with six packs, eight cards per. So we're gonna use three, and then I can make another video with the other three. Also, hopefully I have better luck opening these than with the Tim Hortons card packs, because those, oh my word. Okay, you know what? All the way, screw this. I'm gonna go grab scissors, and that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, there we go. That makes it a little bit easier. Nice. So we get a Fiala to start off. That's a good start. Decent, okay. Chris Letang, I'm hoping we get goalies, at least one, so we don't, you know, well, at least then we'll have a starting, and we won't have both of our goalies at, like, 70 overall. But anyways, a defenseman is nice. We also get ourselves a Chucky. Chucky Cheese. I love that guy. That's my favorite thing. Just all blurry, but all that matters is Chucky e. Cheese celebrating here. So that's a cool card as well. I'm a Chucky guy, so I'm very happy with that one. Oh, we know what's underneath now. Well, we don't exactly know. Unless it was there and I didn't read it, but it's a Montreal player. We are also going to obtain a Nick Felino for our team here. So that's interesting. Okay. Another forward. And we get ourselves a Tomas Tata for the Montreal Canadiens. That's a cool looking card. Yeah, I like that. Neat. All right. Next is going to be a Travis Sanheim. Another defenseman. Okay. Good stuff. I'm trying to not have that reflection, you know, glaring like in the... I could do that. There you go. How do you like that? Next up, we have ourselves a Michael Backlund. Okay. Followed by, I believe this is the last card, a Sasha Barkov. That's good stuff. That's some good stuff right there. First pack did not contain any goalies, but I'm not going to be too upset about it just yet. Starting off with a Jared Spurgeon. So actually, it looks like we're going to be all right on defense so far. And I thought it was going to be a goalie, but no. It is just Charlie McAvoy jumping in the way of a goalie. Or sorry, McAvoy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Charlie Coyle. My bad. Same first name. Just threw me through a loop there. Next up, we have ourselves a Connor Murphy. Another defenseman. Holy crap, man. A Nick Suzuki. Interesting. All right. That's a cool looking card. The angle on that shot is very nice. We need a goalie and we get a Travis Konechny. All right. So now we've got Travis Sanheim and Travis Konechny. Decent. Next up, please be a goalie. We get James Neal. James, the real deal, Neal. I I think this next one is the last card, uh, or maybe there's one more. I can't really tell. I think there's one more. So Jonathan Drouin, and we get ourselves a Tony D'Angelo. Now I'm starting to get worried in terms of goalies. All right, here we go, and we start off with a Ivan Provorov. All right, I'm actually very happy with that card. He's a stud muffin, quite the defenseman, cool looking card. Next, we have a wrist. We have we have a lot of defensemen. We have a lot of defensemen. Holy crap. We get Rasmus Ristolainen. We really need a goalie here, man. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Noel Achari. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But, uh, yeah, not a goalie. Not a defenseman either, which is all right. Kevin Hayes. A uh, screw-up of mine in a video with tactics. Next up is going to be a upper deck canvas Nico. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I literally just made another video where I had to say his name. And I don't know whether it's Hishier or Hishier or something along those lines. Either way, that is a beautiful card. I'll show you the back of this one when we get to the end of it here. We're going to get a Kale Yarncrook. I think it's pronounced like that. It might be Cal. It's probably just Cal Yarncrook. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, thank you. You, are, you, sir, are clutch. Ben Bishop going to reveal himself as the second last card here. And we get a David Riddick as the last card. Talk about timing. Are you kidding me? So this is definitely the highlight pull here. The Nico upper deck canvas card here for the Devils. 
and that is what the back looks like. A very neat card, has a cool feel to it. I like that. I don't know whether I can count this guy as being on our team or not, but I don't think he would make the lineup anyway. So really it doesn't matter. But yeah, so I guess there will be a few players that are scratched here in the grand scheme of things because obviously we can only have so many. I believe we definitely had more than six defensemen, unless I'm really overthinking this here. But I'm pretty sure we did. We got our two goalies. We might have some scratch defensemen, and I think we should have enough for 12 forwards. So let's go put this team together, and let's find out. I guess I'll just create a team. I, I don't know. I'm not even going to bother with changing the team colors. But I'm pretty sure we already have a team with these exact same colors for the video that I did with Thrash. But anyway, we shall be known as the Lumberjacks. The Nova Scotia Lumberjacks, to be more precise. I'm kind of curious as to whether or not Lumberjacks is actually going to be one of the names you can pick. Maybe. It might be, but probably not. I don't know. Guess we're about to find out in just- Oh, I think I saw it. I sure did. Okay, I'll customize the unis a little bit. You know what? I, I wish that when you- Or you had the option to copy the jersey style over to the away. So I don't have to do that every time. There might be an option and I'm just dumb, but I don't think there is. You know, I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of down with these jerseys. Not bad at all. Oh, wow. I, I had no idea. Well, I guess I kind of did, but Nico 85 overall, that's kind of a big deal. Same with Druen and Tatar. This team's actually might not be so bad. Yeah, you know, we're only a little bit over the cap, and we actually only have seven defensemen. I thought we were going to have more than that, but only one will actually be scratched here. And then we got 15 forwards, so three forwards will be scratched. And yeah, but I think we're going to have a pretty good team. Oh, wow. Our team is 92 overall, so yeah. All right, my confidence level has definitely gone up after putting this team together. All right, which unlucky team will be coming out today? It's going to be, boom, the Detroit Red Wings. Okay, so they are getting subbed out, and in come the Nova Scotia Lumberjacks. So we're going to be in the Atlantic Division, which is a pretty competitive division. We got Tampa Bay, Toronto, Boston, and we also got Montreal at 88 overall. It's going to be a tough one, but we can do it. I've also went and turned the salary cap off. I'm not sure what difference that will really make because it's not a fantasy draft or anything. So I don't know how that's going to work, but let's see if it makes any kind of difference. I have simmed past the preseason and now this is the team we are having recommended to us right now. So if I move Jonathan Drouin up in exchange for Tatar, it makes the third line a plus one. So that's a risk I am willing to take. I feel really bad doing this, but if I move Nico down to the fourth line, then it makes all of the lines plus one. So I might have to play Nico on the fourth line, which I don't want to do, but I don't know. At least he'll be getting second line power play minutes, you know? So hopefully he won't be too upset. So yeah, here's our offense. We got plus ones across the board. If we go to defense, we have Provorov and Risto, which is a plus three, Latang and Sanheim, which is a plus one, and then D'Angelo and Spurgeon at zero. In net, we've got Bishop, and Riddick, this team's gonna be good. I can feel it. Let's simulate the season here and let's see where we end up. If I had to make a guess right now, I would say we have 49 wins on the season and I say Barkov leads the team with 87 points. Not exactly the start I expected from this team, to be honest, but I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Wow, 11, 12, and two, really? I'm about to just go do best lines and see what the heck happens because this is very unexpected. Okay, well maybe putting Nico as the upper deck canvas card on the fourth line is not paying off. Wow, we suck. All right, have it your way. Best lines it is. I don't know. Let's see if the game knows what it's talking about. I'm really hoping we have a classic EA out of nowhere insane comeback here because if we don't make the playoffs with this team, I'm actually going to be shocked. So we got all the way to the trade deadline. I have the blockbuster trade alerts on and I have not gotten a single one. So I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, we are sort of doing okay now, I guess. Oh, there we go. Shattenkirk and Walensky for a first, a second, and Ingram. There we are. That, that's the only trade. It's the only one. Ever. Yeah, we actually didn't make the playoffs. Lovely. That's my favorite thing in the whole world. Barkov did have the most points, but he had 81, not 87. But, uh, you know, almost point a game. Wow, Boston beat us out for one point. Are you kidding me? We had the same, they had one more overtime loss than us. That grinds my gears. So the Capitals won the President's Trophy. Toronto's up there as well. Okay, so here's the standings if anyone is in fact interested. We finished 18th in the whole league and the top 16 teams are the teams that made the playoffs this year. Not very often you see that. So Barkov, as I mentioned, was the best player for our team here with 81 points. Chucky e. Cheese with 74. Tomas Tatar with 63. 
How did our goaltenders do? Bishop, 34, 29, and 5 with a 905, 289, and then a 299, 906. So they really didn't do that bad. Kata Hat with the most wins in the NHL this year with 42, a 911 save percentage, 260, and a 917 from Hank on the Capitals, who isn't actually going to be playing this season, unfortunately. I believe the Capitals had 113 points as a team. So there you go, Ovi, tying his team for points there. Huberdeau lit it up with 110 this year. Malkin, yeah, just a bunch of top performing players this year. The Panthers Barkov did much better than ours. On that note, let's sim past the playoffs here and then we can go have a look at the awards and the playoff tree. And that will about wrap this one up. I don't know who's going to win. Will the Capitals win the Presidents and the Stanley Cup? Let's find out. The Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions this time around. So let's go check out the awards and the playoff tree. Yep, as I just mentioned, there you have it. The Toronto Maple Leafs, the Capitals as the President's Trophy winners. And they've played the Dallas Stars in the finals. So interesting to see that. Alexander Ovechkin, as we saw before, is the Art Ross winner. He also takes home the Hart. The Norris goes to John Carlson. Huberto picking up the Lady Bing. The Calder goes to Kirill Kaprizov on the New Jersey Devils. How did that happen? Con Smythe goes to John Tavares. Hank Lundqvist gets the Vesna and the Jennings. No surprise there after seeing... Well, I guess Kata Hat did good as well. But anyway, Darnell Nurse with the Bill Masterton. The Jack Adams goes to Flaherty. Flirty? <laughs> I feel like I should know how to pronounce that, but I just... Anyway, probably butchered it. Kopitar with the Selkie. Ovechkin with the Lindsay and the Maurice Rocket Richard. Here you have it. The standings are presented to you. I mean standings, the playoff tree. Oh my word. Anyway, if anyone's interested in the playoff tree in the AHL for some reason, there it is. Okay. But in the NHL, it looks like this. So the, wow, conference finals both went to seven and so did the Stanley Cup Finals. So guys, I am going to be doing some giveaways with these upper deck cards and the Tim Hortons cards and stuff. I will have a Gleam link in the description below and also as the pinned comment hopefully youtube will will allow it to not delete my comment but yeah so one of the three winners will win the you can't even see that but the uh, upper deck canvas card there i'm also going to throw in some of the tim hortons cards and stuff as well it'll just come through regular letter mail and then obviously i will contact the winners I believe it runs for just under a week, the contest. So good luck to everyone on that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you're headed down there to like the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, as always, hope you guys had a good time. And I'll see you in the next... I'll see you in the next one.